In this problem, we're asked to simplify the square root of 300. And I'm going to use the product rule of radicals that says for any non-negative real numbers a and b and any index n, the nth root of ab equals the nth root of a times the nth root of b. Well, in this case, we're going to use square roots. So remember, in square roots, n is 2. And when n is 2, we don't need to write the index. It's assumed to be a square root. So I'm going to write the square root of ab is equal to the square root of a times the square root of b. So in this problem, I need to break down 300 into its prime factors. So here's 300. What are two numbers that multiply to 300? There are lots of different ways of doing this. Since it ends in a zero, I'm going to say 10 times 30. Now, is 10 a prime number? No, 10 is 2 times 5. And 30 is 5 times 6. 2, 5, so 2, 5, and 5 are prime factors. 6 is not a prime number, so 6 is 2 times 3. So here is my prime factorization of 300. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my 300, and I can write this lots of different ways, but I think it's helpful if I group together pairs. So if I look at this, 2 times 2 is 4. Now, do I have any other pairs? Yes, I have 5 times 5 is 25. And do I have any other pairs? No, I just have a plain old 3. So the square root of 300 is the square root of 4 times 25 times 3. The reason I write it in this form is I want the square root of 4 using the product rule of radicals times the square root of 25 times the square root of 3. Well, what's the square root of 4? The square root of 4 is 2. What's the square root of 25? 5. So I have 2 times 5 outside the radical, and I have a 3 inside. So what is my final answer? 10 times the square root of 3. That is not the only way to solve this problem. On that problem, I did broke everything down into its prime factors. But sometimes you can do the problem slightly easier, is if when I factor my 300, my pen writes, if you happen to think about that 100 divides evenly into 300, 100 times 3 is 300, do you have to factor any more? Well, no, this is a perfect square. So we could have written the square root of 300 is the square root of 100 times 3. And what's the square root of 100? 10. The square root of 3 is just the square root of 3. Do I get the same answer here as I do here? Yes, so I just wanted to point out that there are different ways of doing the problem. And it doesn't have to break everything into prime factors if you notice perfect square factors along the way.